On a spring afternoon in 1985 in Gary, Indiana, a teenage girl named Paula Cooper killed an elderly Bible teacher, Ruth Pelkey, in a violent home invasion. The Lake County prosecutor decided to pursue the death penalty for Paula, even though she was 15 years old. We have bred a segment of our young people who are capable of committing the most heinous and most terrible crimes. When Paula was sentenced to death, very few people in the county spoke out against the impending execution of a 10th grader. The nature of this crime justifies the death sentence. But the tide began to shift when the victim's grandson, Bill, forgave her against the wishes of his family and friends and congregation and campaigned to spare her life. What the death penalty does is all it does is create more victims. He decided to reach out to Paula and a truly surreal friendship began. Jesus said, forgive 70 times seven. And I knew that forgiveness was the right thing. A tragedy in a Midwestern steel town soon echoed across the United States and around the world, reaching as far away as the Vatican. Newspapers in Europe covered the story on their front pages, and millions signed petitions in support of Paula. At the same time, a powerful collective was forming in this country with a single goal, to end the death penalty for teenagers. And that's just the first half of the book. 70 times 7 is about the will to live, to survive, to grow, to change, and about what we are willing to accept as justice. It is an incredible true story.